The solar system refers to the sun itself and every celestial object that revolves around it. It includes the eight planets and their natural satellites, dwarf planets, and small solar system bodies. In this video lesson, we will describe the origin of the solar system based on different theories. We will discuss the small solar system bodies by comparing comets, meteors, and asteroids. There are some significant theories that explain the beginning of the solar system. One of these is the planetesimal theory. Planetesimal theory gives information of planets of cosmic dust grains that collide and stick together. The companion star theory states that the Sun once had a companion star which exploded when it collided with the Sun. The materials from the explosion were held by Sun's gravity which formed the solar system. The nebular hypothesis is about a vast saucer-shaped nebula that is slowly swirling in space. Due to the speed of its spin, the rings of the materials broke away and gave rise to the planets. Being the center of the solar system, the Sun is by far the largest and the brightest object in it. The Sun comprises about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. Just like planets, the Sun does have an atmosphere, which is very different from the Earth's. The solar atmosphere consists of the photosphere, which is the inner layer and the main body of the Sun. It is responsible for the bright surface of the Sun. The chromo in chromosphere refers to the reddish glow around the photosphere, which can be observed during solar eclipse. The corona is the outermost layer of the solar atmosphere. It consists of hot gases which arc out of the solar disk found in the outer part. According to the International Astronomical Union or AIU, objects orbiting around the Sun are divided into three classes. Planets, dwarf planets, and small solar system bodies. To be classified as planets, it has to satisfy the following criteria. It always orbit around the Sun, possesses a sufficient mass enough for its own gravity to overcome rigid body forces to make it nearly round in shape. And lastly, it has cleared its immediate neighborhood of all smaller objects making it the dominant gravitational body in their orbit. As of now, we have 8 known planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. The farther the planet from the Sun, the faster its rotation but slower its revolution. Dwarf planets orbit around the Sun. It should also have enough mass to form itself into a spherical shape. But unlike planets, dwarf planets do not have clear immediate neighborhood of all smaller objects around the Sun. This is the reason why Pluto was removed on the list of planets in the solar system. There are five recognized dwarf planets in the solar system. Ceres, Makemake, Haumea, Eris, and Pluto. Aside from the Sun, planets, and dwarf planets, there are other members of the solar system. One of these is asteroids. Asteroids are rocky celestial bodies with elliptical orbits around the Sun. Asteroids are also called planetoids by scientists because they are more like planets and moons. The region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter is known as the main asteroid belt. Dwarf planet Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It is the only dwarf planet located in the inner solar system. There are three known types of asteroid. A C-type asteroid has a similar composition with Sun's composition which is depleted in hydrogen, helium, and other volatiles. An S-type asteroid is relatively bright and is made up of silicate materials and nickel iron. It dominates the inner asteroid belt. An M-type asteroid includes the rest of the known asteroids. It is known as metallic. 
they are also bright in color. The composition of an M-type asteroid is dominated by nickel and iron. A comet is an icy body that releases gas or dust. Scientists call them dirty snowballs because they are made up of frozen gases that are held together in rocky and metallic materials. It contains dust, ice, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and methane among others. Just like asteroids, comets are also irregular in shape. When a comet nears the sun, its eyes turn into gas and carry off dust through the process of sublimation. This process is the reason for its coma and long tails. Comets are classified based on their orbital period. Those comets that take less than 200 years to complete a single orbit around the Sun are called the short-period comets. Long-period comets are those that take hundreds of thousands of years just to take single orbit around the Sun. Meteoroids are boulders and rocks in space. Unlike asteroids, meteoroids do not remain in a certain region. Instead, they orbit around the Sun in a variety of orbits at various speeds. They also come in irregular shapes. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it burns up and it appears like a blazing rock called a meteor. Meteors are popularly known as shooting stars or falling stars. Once a meteor survives its course in the atmosphere and hits the ground, it is termed as the meteorite. Meteorites are used by scientists to determine the composition of meteoroids which are thought to be made up of rocky materials, iron, and nickel. If you like more science video, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.